Now to the race for a vaccine for COVID-19. It comes amid new guidance about sending kids back to school. Earlier, I spoke with Dr. Imran Ali. Dr. Ali, thank you for joining us this morning. New Jersey will now require kids to wear a mask in school buildings, even while social distancing. I want to know, what are your thoughts on that? Well, a lot of schools want to open. A lot of parents want their kids to get back to school. And some places are definitely hot spots. For example, Mississippi, one out of every five COVID tests are positive and the ICU beds are filling up. Governor Tate tomorrow is going to talk about schools reopening. And I think masks are going to be a big factor. So we know that the CDC guidelines are people, kids over the age of two, two and above should wear masks. And the mask should be, you know, well-fitting. I recommend uh, parents not to get the ones that go around the ears because then kids fuss around with them. They're not either too tight or too loose. So get a nice, colorful, comfortable mask. But it is now important to have kids wear masks too because we're still learning a lot about how kids can still spread the disease as we saw in the summer camp in Georgia recently. And there's a lot of concern about the dangers of kids taking the bus to school. The CDC recommends that schools create a distance between children when possible by seating one child per row and maybe even skipping rows. But most school districts aren't going that far. How big of a concern is that? A big concern because we're in an enclosed place. And there's, you know, this hard, it's hard to supervise kids. You know, kids on a school bus are not going to always follow the rules. So it's going to be more dangerous when the winter time comes because then you're not going to have the ventilation of the windows being open. So it's going to be a tight enclosed space with multiple children, and they're not going to necessarily follow social distancing. And Dr. Ali, there is some encouraging news about a potential treatment. Eli Lilly has launched a new trial looking at an antibody treatment that will be tested in nursing homes. What's the significance of this? This is very exciting, Mona, because, you know, we used to have people with convalescent donor plasma get better. So people who have already beaten the disease, they build natural antibodies to the virus. And that plasma is donated to people who are actively ill. Now, Eli Lilly has manufactured these antibodies in a laboratory, so it's a synthetic copy of what a natural antibody would be. Does it work? We don't know quite yet, but the preliminary studies show that it may have some effectiveness in preventing the virus from entering the cells. And this could be really amazing if we can get this treatment to the frail and elderly who have weakened immune systems. Definitely sounds promising. Our yeah. thanks to Dr. Ali.